Well, this weekend, North Dakota veterans were in for one sweet getaway. That's for sure. They headed to the nation's capital while taking part in an honor flight, recognizing them for their service to our country. That's right. New this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us live near the nation's capital to talk more about the milestone for our local veterans. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. You can feel the energy of excitement in the air and on the plane as we tour the nation's capital. Here's a look at exactly what we did. North Dakota veterans are all joyful for their trip to Washington, D.C. after having an honor flight chartered by Western North Dakota Honor Flight. It's kind of good to be home after 30 years, and I still love North Dakota. I'm an old, old hand North Dakota boy now because I've been there for over 40 years. While D.C. may be home to roles, it was just in reach for a veteran, John Weisgerber, who never got the chance to visit when he served until now. I was in the vicinity, but never in Washington, so I, it's probably been uh, over 25, 30 years that I was kind of waiting to get to program. Although our veterans were miles away from home, they were surprised with a greeting from heroes who also call the same state home. The North Dakota National Guard welcomed them as they arrived at Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. That was beautiful. I, I mean, that really touched me because, I mean, we didn't expect that. And, and I didn't even know they were going to be here or didn't even know they were here. Attractions like the Arlington National Cemetery and the changing of the guard ceremony are just some of the places visited on the first day of arrival. Just absolutely, uh, you know, the grace and, and the honor those soldiers do, it's, it's just a great program, so. Today is the final day of the honor flight and the sightseeing is gonna continue. They're gonna visit the Lincoln Memorial and the Korean War Memorial as well as the World War II War Memorial. And the flight is gonna take off tonight at five and we'll be headed back to Bismarck mm -hmm. this evening around eight o'clock. Right. Wow, what an opportunity for all of them, for you, Cameron, and we're so glad yeah. that you could be here, or be there live to tell us exactly what they're experiencing and, and uh, show us that. Absolutely, great coverage, Cameron, and we're looking forward to uh, the following piece uh, later, to, uh, later today. All right, thank you very much.